Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's Martin here, one hour playthrough. Welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep in season number three. Right, so how am I doing on vitals? I'm pretty hungry. And I actually ate last night, but apparently that wasn't enough. So what I think actually I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna make a fire. Let me chop down some coconuts. Eat them. this should be enough and while we're munching away let's see a uh, little bit of camera I sorted out the crates that I had and um, these are all empty and I was thinking of going to another island but my raft is not the fastest so um, there's still stuff to discover as well so I thought I'd do that first and hopefully I don't get any visit of a shark. That would be nice. Now let me check if I discovered this all. No, I haven't actually. All right, and we go a little bit closer here, just in case a shark comes. <laughs> um, just trying to recognize the ship. Yeah, it's at the other side. Okay, we can't go in. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. I had a little hope that they fixed this. Yeah, it's a tiger. Alright. It's, um, whenever you enter the water, it's... Yeah. But maybe... There's an engine in here. Come on. Aw. Alright, let's just put this one back. I want to do a tour around the island first because I'm pretty lucky let me take two spears with me because I'm not convinced that there was only one snake just gonna walk through the greens here keep my ears open I need to be absolutely certain I know I can start running around later and collect these fibrous leaves and stuff like that. Because it's likely I need them at some stage. So far so good. Alright. Pretty sure I checked this. I must have. Yeah. I can make 10 spears and kill this guy. But that takes some time, and especially when he goes away. But at the other hand, I really want to dive into that wreck. Um, I have to be really quick about it as well. Because that's fully on the water. Hmm. And there was another wreck over that way. A bit off the coast. Let's see, I, th I must have been in this one as well. Let me just double check. It's been a few days since I recorded this. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I did not set sail with my little raft. Because... Yeah. About that. Well then. Um, I'm not going to record this because it's crazy. Luckily it's only 9 o'clock. So... When the storm subsides, I will take my leave and uh, maybe, you know, for trial and error, I think I'm going to set sail and see how it is on this little raft and so I can advise you to do it or not. <laughs> I'll take these empties with me and um, see an island over there. I'm going to go there. All right. I will uh, let you know how, I, uh, <laughs> how it went in this raft. Alright guys, well the storm finally subsided and I did make the trip to another island and I can actually say going in your rescue, rescue raft, the yellow one, uh, is quite safe. 
I had no problems traversing the storm. I put the stick over there so I know <laughs> which direction I have to walk. I am cold though. Uh, I was freezing my balls off and I was just starting to make a fire, but apparently uh, I didn't have to. Right, there are two wrecks on this island and I investigated them. Got some stuff out of it. Um, but um, no engine, unfortunately. Do have some stones. That's really good. And. Yeah, all in all, not too bad. I think I need to store. No, I should be able to. There you go. So, um. Yeah. <laughs> That was a uh, that was a big storm. How are my vitals doing? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I scavenge these uh, scavenge these two wrecks over here and nothing much. Um, that's home island, and I really think I can do with visiting another island. Now I'm either. It's hard to see to the left of the screen. That is either my starter island or that one. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm going to head over there and check it out because I have a lot of crates with me and they are all empty. I really like to fill them. Or actually, that island looks even more promising. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do my best to find a mo boat engine so I can uh, travel faster. Some clay over here, which is good to know. All right. Let me uh, quickly skip and I'll see you when I arrive at that island. Right, so there we are. And I have a really big wreck over here. It's pretty good. Now it's probably uh, not doable even to go home with this uh, little raft. So I'm fairly sure I'll stay the night over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is we unload these there you go let me grab a stick I just thought of this um, I'm going to put on every island that I visit a stick in a direction where I came from there cool all right I have a torch on there There it is. All right, just in case. And what time is it? Oh, it's just an hour. Let's do a quick investigation here in this wreck. Really, really, really hoping I'll find an engine. And else tomorrow we're going to continue investigating. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's not an engine. <laughs> But uh, this is just one part of the ship. This is a ship inside a ship, kind of. That's a bit weird. Can I go through here somehow? No, don't think so. Got barrels though. But there's no way I can take them with me. I really have to make something for that. Special barge. Double barge. Let's see. I don't well, maybe the food and let's go upstairs of course there's a shark coming right. let's see this it's sometimes really hard to get in bandage not right now ooh I take that <laughs> And you know what? I might as well take all these. And um, because you never know in the next episode if I get bitten or not. Let's see. Uh, oh, I can't get out. Alright, so. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is. Uh, I have to call it an episode. It's getting too dark. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.